Hello my productive friends and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be jumping into Friday.app. This is a daily planning app that I've been just getting used to and just jumping into. What it does is it allows you to bring all of your other to-do list apps and your calendar apps and everything all together into one interface that actually makes it easy to work. When you look at uh, most of our task oriented apps or our calendar apps, they aren't necessarily aligned with action. And that's where Friday comes in. It makes it easier to get things done. It makes it easier to plan your days. Uh, and I actually like to use this as like a weekly planner. Right before a week starts, I like to plan out my entire week using Friday. So let me show you guys exactly how to use Friday. We're just gonna jump right into it. Before we start, if you do want to use Friday and you don't already have an account, just use the link below in the description. You can scroll down there and you can find everything that I talk about in this video down there. You can also skip around if you want to. Uh, I'm also going to include some chapters. All right, so jumping right into this, once you open up Friday, you are going to be faced with this homepage and it's going to say, good afternoon, Carter, or it'll say, good morning, Carter. Um, and then it's going to tell you what to focus on next, which tasks you have remaining. And it's also going to have these sections down here for meeting notes and routines. But what I want to focus on today is the planner over in this left side menu. So if I click into the planner, what it's going to give me is a view of what my day looks like so far based on whatever's in my Google Calendar. Now I only have one Google Calendar linked up to this, but you can link up as many Google Calendars as you want to overlap into here. That's pretty cool. You can also link up your task applications so that it dumps in all of your tasks from something like Todoist. So as you can see, I've got all my tasks right here in Todoist. And if I want to, I can drag my task right in and then I can hit schedule and boom, that task from Todoist it's scheduled now. I have a time of day that I'm going to be able to do it. Now, in order to link everything up, you're going to have to check out the planner settings button. And once you click into planner settings, you're going to see all of your linked calendars. But if you haven't linked any calendars yet, you can just hit connect where it says connect another Google calendar, or you can connect your Outlook calendar. If you navigate over to the side panel where it says chat apps, you can also link up Slack or Microsoft Teams. And the cool thing about what this does in Slack is it actually changes your status in Slack based on what you've set up in Friday. So if you're busy or if you're in a deep work block or if you're on a break, it's going to reflect that in your Slack status. So if you're one of those people that uses Slack a lot, definitely connect up Slack to this. I used to use Slack. I don't so much anymore. Now I use Plutio for all of our chat. You can also connect different task applications. They have quite a list here. So you can connect Trello cards. You can connect uh, Asana and sync up your tasks. I've got Todoist synced up right now with this. So it's pulling in all my Todoist tasks. Um, you can also link up the following. So click up Jira, Google Tasks, Microsoft To Do, GitLab, GitHub. I think that it's going to be important for the developers of Friday to get some more applications in here. It'd be nice to see Notion because I do use Notion a lot and I know that their API is very slow moving, but it's got a great future. And um, I'm looking forward to just seeing as technology develops, as this stuff gets better, as different companies start prioritizing their API a little bit more, um, it's going to become a lot easier to link up all your applications. Now, when I go down to focus time, this is where you set the websites that you want to be blocked during focus time. So right now I've got YouTube, Coinbase, Twitter, and Reddit blocked because those are some places that, well, to be honest, I could potentially end up wasting time. So if I hear about a big price move in the cryptocurrency market, I might try to head over to Coinbase. Or if I go to YouTube to try to look up a tutorial and then I end up watching uh, videos that are recommended on my home screen, or maybe I go to Twitter or Reddit. Um, th there's lots of places that I could end up that could be distracting. So you can add any of those things that you want Friday to block when you're in a deep work session. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in a minute. 
You also set up your work hours right away. The whole mentality behind Friday is they want to keep it uh, so that when your day is done, you're done. You're done with work. You clock out. And if you're an entrepreneur or you work from home or you have to set up your own schedule, maybe you're a student and uh, you know you could work all night if you you know there's enough work that you could probably work all night if you allowed yourself to. But the mentality behind Friday.app is they are trying to get people to start understanding that it's okay to shut off. It's okay to plan out your day, complete your day, and then have a time where you punch out of work. So they have a start of day and an end of day. However you start and end your day is going to have a huge impact on the rest of your life. Because think about it. If you start your day and you know you wake up late and then you sit on your phone and you scroll through the news and you scroll through social media and then you get up and maybe you... Uh, Maybe you like finally make a cup of coffee and you like barely make it to the gym and you're late and then you're then you're late for when you wanted to start work. That's what it can look like sometimes if you are setting your own schedule. It's just good to have a set start time for your day and to have at least a small routine for your morning that might include some exercise, um, getting some food. It's easy to go over the amount of time that you initially planned for something to go. So... It's good to set an end time. It's good to set an end of the day so that you can make more time for self-care. You can make more time where you just disconnect from screens. So set your start and end of day. The next setting we have is location. Now in the location, you're just gonna enter your city or your town or wherever you are so that you can get weather updates through Friday. And that's kind of nice because it does brief you on the weather so that you don't have to go to some separate application to do that. You can just stay focused. And then they also have a daily email section. Now this daily email just sends you an outline for what it is that you have planned for that day. And you can set it for every weekday or every day if you want to, and you just choose the time right here. Then you update daily agenda settings, okay? Now I'm just gonna go over to Monday the 4th and I'm gonna get to planning. Now right off the bat, you'll notice that there are two Google Calendar events added by default got the laundry pickup and drop off and I've also got a meeting with Drake. Aside from that, everything looks pretty bare. But isn't this pretty cool? Look at this. If there's a Zoom link attached to your Google Calendar event, they have a link right here that they embed so that you can join straight away from Friday. That's just super intuitive, super helpful, and it's nice to have that in the forefront. But let's get down to it and start planning this day a little bit more in depth. So I'm gonna start out at 9 a.m. Oh, and before I do this, notice how this is grayed out. This is like a bright white color. This is grayed out. The grayed out area is actually where you're out of office. So if you do set this up with Slack and whatnot, it will say out of office or whatever you set it to say uh, when you reach that time, which is really nice because you don't want to be updating that twice a day for the rest of your life. It would be nice if it was automatic, and that's what Friday does. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to add a recurring task because it's important to work out every day, right? Well, at least on the weekdays. So I'm going to go through and make a recurring task to start. So if you want to add a recurring task, you just click and then you hit task. And from here, you can type it in. I'm just going to click on daily workout. That's one that I've already created. Then I'm going to make it recurring and I'm going to make it recurring only on the weekdays. So repeat weekdays, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then I'm gonna hit schedule. Okay, so we've got our daily workout planned. Now, if I go over to Tuesday, you'll see that daily workout is planned. But if I go all the way over to Saturday, there's nothing on Saturday. This is my day off, right? So one of the other cool things about Friday is it allows you to create what's called a routine. And a routine is basically just a form or a set of questions that it asks you that allows you to quickly journal or enter some information or some feedback. And if you work with teams, this can be very powerful, especially if you're a manager, and you're trying to get an understanding of how your team feels, but it's also great for personal use if you just want to create like a bullet journal or something like that. So let's just say like a daily journal we want to add to the agenda. And I don't usually do like regular journaling, but I'm just showing you guys this as an example. But if you're the type of person that likes to journal on a daily basis and get a quick idea of your thoughts down, just go ahead and click routine to add that. 
And then there's all types of different routines. You've got like a weekly kickoff. You'll notice this is a team routine. And this is where your team kind of shares what they're aiming to accomplish that week. And it just gets everybody on the same page. There's also the morning plan. And this is a personal routine. And this is the one I'm going to add in here. So it just says kickstart a successful workday. Spend a few minutes thinking about what you need to accomplish so that you can better allocate your time. And that's just what this does. So when I click on this, it's going to add this routine to my schedule. Right now we're in the builder where I can build this uh, bullet journal out and I can kind of add some questions here. So how are you feeling is the first question and that's an emoji type. And then we've got like an open-ended type and that's just what I, what's on your mind right now, just basic text response. And then another open-ended, what are your must wins for today? Like what are the things that you must get done? And if we wanted to, we could just hit publish right now but I could also add in some questions. So I could add a question that's either text, emoji based, like that first one you saw, numeric, and that's just a scaled, like one to 10, sentiment, five point sentiment scale. And then there's a yes or no question. That's just your typical true, false, yes, no, radio selection. And then we have an agreement scale, strongly disagree all the way to strongly agree. So these are the question types and they work well if you are working with a team or a client, but they also work nice if you're just trying to personally journal for yourself. Now you'll also notice that there is this plus and this add power up button down here. So this is mostly for teams and I don't use this a ton, but if you wanted to use the power up button, you can click on that. And there's a few ways that you can power up your routines. One, you can give a kudos, which is like, a thank you to your teammate. Um, you can also do icebreakers, which just makes it easier to get to know someone, just kind of some random questions that can get asked in a routine. And then you have ideas. This one's going to allow uh, sharing of different ideas and then goals. This one's more for like a goal update. Like if you have a big project you're working on and you have benchmarks or KPIs you're trying to hit, um, you can basically share your goals. And I'm just gonna publish this morning plan routine, call it morning plan, one participant, just myself, and I'm gonna do a daily 8 a.m. via email. I'm gonna hit publish. And just to show you an example, I'm gonna add my first entry. So this is what it would look like if I was adding in my entry. Uh, this is what it looks like on a daily basis. So I just get an idea of what's on my mind and how I'm feeling. So right now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm making a video for a cool app. And now my must wins for today. So complete my videos, complete website edits, complete update. And then boom, I've got my update right here. And if I was working with the team, I could send these out to my team members and then I could get a collection of how everybody's feeling, what's on their mind and what their must wins are for the day. So this kind of just replaces that, that daily meeting that you almost have on a regular basis if you want to. Um, some people like that human interaction, but uh, it can be a time waster if you're having meetings all the time and routines kind of replace the need for like check-in calls and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. But now I want to start some focused deep work. So after my workout, I wanna get home and get some deep work done. In order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to click on your agenda. You're gonna to wanna to add focus time. Now, do you remember when we chose those websites to block for your focus time? That's what this is going to pull from. And you can also add more websites here. So not only is this gonna block websites that you don't want yourself to go to, it's also going to just replace your new tab entirely when you're using Friday. So when you open a new tab, it's just gonna show you Friday. And I found that that really helps me to stay on track, especially when I'm trying to get work done. Let's just set my focus time from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and I'm gonna hit schedule. And then as you can see, again, you can just overlay tasks on top of that. But what this does now is it updates my status if I have Slack hooked up. It also makes it a lot harder to get distracted. I'm gonna try to open a new window and you'll see that Friday pops up right away right here and it shows some tasks that I have remaining. Next, take a look at this. If I click this little drop down over here where it says future 21 tasks, it will pull up all of my tasks from Todoist and then I can simply drag these in for whenever I want to schedule them. Let's say right after my call, I wanna do this 
and I can set aside a certain amount of time for it. Let's just stick with the default. I'm gonna hit schedule. And then let's say I wanna move this up here. Schedule. And then you can also just add brand new tasks just like we did with the workout. You can either do that here or you can click and just hit task. I'm just gonna drag this deep work session a little bit so that it conforms to the amount of tasks that we have for that day. And then I'm going to add in a break as well, okay? Because you can't get much done if you run out of energy. So if I hit add to agenda and I hit break, we can schedule in a break and I can add a brief title. So if you wanted to, you could do like lunch or something like that. I'm just gonna grab some food, lunch, and we'll make that a one hour break. And I'm gonna schedule that in. So now we have our break here and again, I know I've said this a few times, but if you have Slack set up with this, it will update people on what you're doing so that you don't have to change your Slack status. And then we could just crush right back into some focus time. I'm just gonna schedule that in and I'm gonna drag it out for the rest of the day. Now, if you switch up here, this little toggle, you can get some very interesting insights. I don't have anything coming in because I just have this set up for the week of October 3rd through the 9th. Obviously that hasn't really happened. But how am I allocating my time? Well, I can see that right here. I can see what's unscheduled. I can see how many breaks I have, what, what's being taken up by tasks, what's being taken up by meetings. And you can get so much great data here and it really just helps to dial in on what you're doing and it helps you really see what you're making of your time. So that's kind of nice. There's a whole lot more that Friday can do that I didn't cover in this video, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope that this app helps you plan your days and your weeks a little easier. Friday really just kind of brought it all together and meshed it into one tool that allows me to focus while I'm working, right? And that is, I think the most important thing if you wanna make it to Friday, <laughs> the day Friday of the week. If you want to make it to Friday and actually have everything done by the end of the week, it's important that you know, you're very intentional with how you plan things out and what you're doing with your time and how focused you are. So that's why I've enjoyed this app so much and I hope that you enjoy it too. We'll see you guys in the next video.